Roars for Rory. The Roars have returned in golf. Yes, they have, and they were behind Rory all weekend. Oh, yes. So how about that for a fall? It's just awesome to play in front of these people again. To bring the best out of myself, I, I need this. And uh, I feed off the energy so much. Indeed, he did. Pulling off miraculous blind shots over the trees with water behind the green. No problem for the now three-time tournament champ. Oh, really nice. He muscled up from the pine straw. Trying to hit a big old cut, kind of a la tiger style. Speaking of muscling up, Rory blasted a drive 372 yards on Sunday. Oh, oh, you're kidding. Oh, gigantic. Wow. That's the what? green there, folks. That's the front eight. What was he what? thinking? He was thinking, I'm going to win this thing. McElroy did something he's never done in his career. Won a tournament three times and what proved to be a good, bad, and unusual week at the Wells Fargo Championship. If you thought Rory's drive was good, check this out from Richie Wierenski on the drivable par 4 14. Remember, we've only had one ace on a par 4 in tour history. Oh, and what a shot. Hits the flag. You know who else likes to hit bombs? Phil made a statement at Quail Hollow, shooting his lowest round in almost a year in the opening round. Oh, Phil, my goodness, what, what kind of golf this? is he playing right now? The kind of golf that had him leading the tournament, also the kind of golf where he was just straight throwing darts. See, almost hold it. But it gets better. Joel Damon tweeted this ahead of his round with Phil Thursday, posting, quote, I get to check off another bucket list item by playing with Phil Mickelson. I've been trying to get a game with him for six months, but I think he's scared of my hellacious seeds. Of course, Phil was just as excited to play with Damon, and he promised there would be bombs hit and birdies made, forecasting it was about to rain again in Charlotte. And rain it did. Damon did his best to impress Phil. Oh, come on yes. now. Unfortunately, they didn't keep it up. Oh, no, get In their defense, Quail Hollow got tough Friday. The winds picked up and 18 played as the toughest hole on the course. Just ask Harry Higgs. Oh, that hit the top of the tent. At least he escaped with a bogey. All right, all right. We've all been there. So we got a hospitality tent left that's been yeah. hit, grandstand right that's been hit. If only we could activate scramble mode on demand like KH Lee. Scramble mode activated. Glutes activated. This one from Stuart Sink will make you clutch. That may have even surprised him. Look at how close that got to the tree. As if golf isn't hard enough, Bryson DeChambeau immediately hopped on a plane after his round Friday because he thought he missed the cut. There's no way I'm still gonna, I'm not, not gonna make it. There's no way. But if you watched the takeaway on Friday, you know that the conditions got really tough in the afternoon and the cut line moved. So DeChambeau had to turn back around. By the time I landed, I was, uh, I was in the 64th or 63rd or whatever. And so I looked at Connor and go, well, whoops. <laughs> that was a mistake. So it was funny. We did a lot of scrambling last night to get back. And so I left at um, 2.45 uh, on a flight. And I got here at 6.20 AM drove 30 minutes to the golf course, put on my clothes in the locker room, and then headed out to the putting green. <laughs> I did get a workout last night, though. <laughs> of course he did, but seriously, a no sleep 68? I'd take it. DeChambeau cruised Saturday and got within three shots of the lead at one point before closing with a double bogey. 
here's some hope for all of you struggling golfers like me out there. If Charles Barkley can improve, you can too. Check out Chuck's new swing. Do I even need to remind you what it used to look like? Let's see those side by side. Now that qualifies for most improved. Chuck and other Alabama legends came out to the PGA Tour Champions Regions Tradition this week, the first major championship of their season. Look who I'm hanging with today, PGA Champions, Coach Saban. Coach, how's your morning going? Not so good out here today. What do you mean? I need better coaches. <laughs> I know. Well, he doesn't tell you he's on full scholarship now at Alabama, though. I forgot to tell you that part. Next up, the PGA Tour heads to Dallas for the AT&T Byron Nelson, where you can get your weekly recap right here on Monday in the good, bad, and unusual. But until then, you can catch my nightly recaps in the takeaway on PGATour.com and social media. Have a great week.